This tutorial is on CQP Web's sort function. Let's take uh, a query um, for any word, uh, I don't know, how about uh, therefore. If we take a query on that word and uh, we want to do something that is pretty typical which is sort the query by either the word before or the word after. Um, this is another uh, a type of what we call a query post process that is something that you can do to a query after it has been run and that's here on this menu sort and if you press go with sort showing then the concordance screen uh, opens up the sort control which is this row in the table here it also imposes a default sort and the default sort is the sort that has the options here um, when you first uh, when you first do the sort so by default the sort position is the position one to the right of the node word which is the node uh, which is the word you search for in the first place so if you look here you will see that this concordance is indeed sorted by what comes directly after therefore uh, punctuation marks are usually sorted before letters uh, depending on the language but that's usually the case um, so if we go on a page we'll find examples starting with words that begin in A then after that words that begin in B uh, next page should be words that begin in C and so on and so on and so forth and this can be very useful for spotting patterns um, we can also change the sort we don't just have to sort on the word after we can also sort on one word to the left we change it by changing the position here and then pressing update sort here now note that whenever you update a sort that's uh, uh, that will take you back to the beginning because obviously you can't stay on the third page because what's on the third page will have changed because you've sorted it differently and what you've sorted on always appears up here um, so when we sort on a different position it undoes the previous sort and adds a new sort up here um, and again you can see that we're sorted on the first thing before the node so words starting in punctuation will be first probably quite a lot of commas commas full stops ah now we're on to words starting in A okay so that's one before one after now you can also and depending on the grammar of the word you're working with these are going to be more or less useful but you can also sort on words further away so let's try two to the right so if we sort by two to the right you'll see that the highlighted in bold word is now one word uh, there's now a one word gap between the hit word and the word that we sorted on okay so again scrolling down there we are you can see ah able absence we've sorted on the second word to the right uh, let's try second left so you can see that as well again punctuation first and then once we get past that words beginning in A okay so that's how the sort function works now the sort function has a second property which is that you can exclude or include certain things from your search either on the basis of the word form or on the basis of the part of speech tag so for instance let's say we want to look at the position one to the left so the first word before and let's say we want to look just at nouns well we can pick uh, singular nouns nn1 from the um, uh, from the tag set list there and 
update the sort. And there we are, four singular nouns in this concordance out of 397 base examples. So you can see here it says sorted on position minus one, that means one before, with tag restriction NN1. So these are all the NN1, which means singular common noun words that occurred directly before therefore. Uh, what about pronouns? Let's try uh, PP. Uh, PPIO1. Oh, no results left after performing that, so we'll try back. Come on, there we go. I, so PP doesn't work. Let's try uh, PPH. PPH. Sort. It PPIS one that should be examples of I and so on and so forth. Now you can also exclude a tag, that is, get every tag other than the one you've selected. So I'm going to exclude. Um, the uh, comma tag. If I find comma, where is it? There it is. First comma. Uh, let's exclude comma and update the sort. And it's now sorted on uh, the thing directly before, but there are no commas. Now note that whenever we use a tag restriction, whether it's include or exclude, then the tag itself is actually displayed on the concordance line. All right, let's turn that off and have a look at this next thing, which allows you to specify what word, what words you're searching for in terms of a sequence of letters for them to start with. So let's say, let's sort it by letter and then only include words that start with the letter A. So that is examples of therefore that occur after a word starting in A. And that brings us down to 135. Uh, lots of examples of and. Uh, what about if we sort on one to the right and look for words starting with A the? There we are. Same deal. And you can see that these concordances are not particularly huge. Um, let's try another letter, let's try a T. Uh, or I could try a couple, a slightly longer beginning, try TH, and you'll see that that brings up the uh, and that. Let's try an exclusion one, let's try an exclusion with comma. Uh, yes, so 341 uh, versus 397, so that filters out thir uh, 50, 56 examples. So these are all the things that we can do with the sort function. You'll see it's quite uh, a powerful sort function in that it doesn't just sort things, it also uh, allows us to exclude or include uh, different concordance lines which allows us to narrow our concordance to a subset of hits. There is one other thing that we can do and that's we can search by the node itself. This is not useful in the case of um, a word, uh, a search like this where we just search for a single word and therefore all the results are exactly the same. But if I got a new query and uh, say we'd searched for uh, words ending in Asian. We might well want to have um, a sort of the node itself so that when we've got multiple examples of the same word ending in Asian, such as administration, which we've got here and here, we might want to put those together. So 
so let me just show you that. Let's sort by the node. You can see it's gone by default to one word after as normal, but we can reset it to the node. And there we are. So first thing starting in numbers, then Asian words in A. Ooh, lots of accommodation. Will one more page be enough to take us to the Bs? No. Okay, I'm not going to keep scrolling through this until we get to letter B. You can see what's going on and you can see how it works. So, we can sort by any position within five words each way. Obviously, it gets less useful the further away you get from the node. You can restrict to a certain tag or use the exclude button to restrict it to everything but a certain tag. You can specify what the word must search uh, start with and you can specify... Um, a series of letters at the start of a word that you want to have excluded. That's all.